Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back with another Paladins video. We're playing some horse today, the one you rated on. He is a support. I have no idea how to intro this video, but yeah, we have a new champion in the form of like an April Fool's joke, which is way more effort than I was expecting. I woke up this morning, checked my phone, saw the trailer video. I thought that was kind of funny. I wasn't going to do anything for April Fool's because I usually find it to be kind of lame, at least for like YouTuber people and stuff, and I didn't want to just react to the thing they posted, but the trailer was kind of funny, and then I went on the patch notes and I saw they actually kind of put some effort into this too, and he's actually in-game, and I thought now I have to make a video on him, he's a playable character, although they have basically just turned an LTM, like, into a champion. I think this is great. Rather self-aware, the cars don't know anything, they even specifically know that one of them is bugged and doesn't work. He is bugged in the fact that he doesn't show up here, but your mount does actually change, like, how he looks in-game. I don't know if it changes here, yeah, I imagine it doesn't because it's just showing the default horse, but everybody does actually have the mount that they're running, and, uh, yeah, this is just great. I like, I have nothing else to really say for the intro, this is why it's hard for me to talk about. And yeah, like I sort of said, kind of buggy, kind of unpolished, but that's, I think, the way it should be implemented. If they did, like, custom art for everything and everything worked exactly as you expected, it wouldn't be a Paladin's patch and would feel kind of out of place, actually. But maybe in the future, we get horse as an actual champion. It looks even more strange when I have right here on the screen, because the horse just doesn't show up for some reason. Shouts out there to uh, horse, but uh, yeah, the thing you're seeing on screen is kind of cursed. I did actually play a game already, but it crashed right before the end, which is why I'm still level zero, because there are titles you can actually unlock with this by getting horse to uh, certain levels. So I will do that just to unlock the titles, because I think it's kind of funny, and I don't know um, if you'll ever be able to get them again unless they put them back in somehow. But yeah, I did make a build. Not that it matters. If you want to copy my horse build, uh, here you go, knock back health and... Um, yeah, I, I guess a tiny bit of reload speed, even though you don't reload. Uh, you do buy items, which is kind of funny. Can't buy Master Riding, though, which is definitely a missed opportunity. There's the jump. It's kind of like a buck jump comboed with a Fernando Dash and an Andro Punch. Can't believe it's taken me this long to uh, notice, but the reason the icons are the icons that they are is because they pretty much mimic the abilities. I'm being rushed down by a bunch of horses, but you basically have a Fernando Dash, a buck jump. The ragdoll is hilariously busted. And um, yeah, you have the Ray thing as well, which is why I imagine it shows Ray's icons. But I don't know how I didn't pick up on that when I played the first game. It took me till now saying it out loud to see what they'd done. I really don't know how to commentate on like what's on screen. It's just very, very strange. We'll do a little bit of a jump over here. Maybe try and not die after getting more than one kill. Just kind of looks like it's broken. And trying to commentate on this is like kind of hurting my brain a little bit. Let's jump, maybe finish him off. He's on a streak. I'm off the map. Appropriate. Yeah, just kind of horse into the abyss. There goes a couple horses. we we'll do a little bit of a jump over here. But uh, yeah, it's actually the third LTM we've had in a row. It's actually pretty good. We had Capture the Flag. We had Survival. I thought both of those were great. And now we have um, Horse. I don't even know what the name of this one is. But everybody playing Horse. It's definitely not as good as the other two in like a serious sort of mode. But I feel like as a champion, Horse would maybe be kind of funny. I don't think it's a good idea. But it would be funny if you could actually just pick Horse and not have a champion. And, and just play as, like, the mount. Also, it looks just kind of broken, as if everybody hasn't loaded in and everybody's somehow stuck in the mount. Like, if you watch this video in, like, two years and I didn't give you context for the start and I was just playing this completely seriously, maybe that would be kind of funny. I don't know. I also just can't aim for anything. Even though I'm just playing Ray, essentially, the POV screws me up so much because I'm so used to being at a different angle and I just can't aim. Also, you're sort of weirdly playing, like, an amalgamation of other characters. It's technically nothing that's unique, I don't think, to... Uh, horse like you're playing with a you know, Tiberius jump not a buck jump which I think what I called it earlier the ray weapon Andro punch and a Fernando dash it's very very strange but yeah there is the defeat there's the stats if you're interested this screen just looks like a bug everything just looks broken but it's working as intended definitely let me know your thoughts on all of the stuff in this video because I really don't know how to comment on it uh, people there in the chat have kind of similar things to what I was saying there in the intro because I was very tempted to just do an intro super seriously for the character horse and then say nothing because I don't know what to add when this is what is on screen it's just one of those things where I should just have my face come in the top left they even put in a loading thing by the way I don't know how I didn't really probably notice that in the first game it's like an actual loading icon uh, it's very tempted to just put my face cam and say nothing for the whole video other than the intro and let it speak for itself I don't know also for some reason my amount is like really though um like res i don't know what's going on there it seems kind of weird but uh, let's just get rid of the horse here nope it's a dash okay we'll jump him uh sure dash over here do a bit of a combo that kind of worked i will say the feel to it is uh, very strange because he feels not really like a support even though that's what they've categorized him as because he's based off rate i think but he plays very differently because he's just a combo of like two movement abilities and then like a close range and a you know sort of ray long range thing i don't know also kind of strange to hit certain people with certain amounts because they just kind of look a bit strange like right now i feel like this is the most scuffed fight i've had in ages just jumping around as two mounts like shooting ray orbs at each other obviously when i've done the other sort of ltm that was a weird combo uh, like survival capture the flag i can just sort of commentate it and do a normal sort of video because i'm pretty much just playing a different new mode uh, but this is very very different and there's a lot of chaos and just a lot of horsing around i also can't remember like what any of the other like what is going on with the ragdolls, man? That is just completely busted. What I was trying to say is I also can't remember if there were any, like, April Fools that were sort of like this. I don't remember any of the other ones, so 
Uh, yeah, I guess this is the best one we've had because I don't remember any of the others, but there probably were an LTM or something. That's what April Fool's before. I remember maybe there being a social media post about something um, at some point with April Fool's, but probably not like an actual mode and a champion. Definitely no champion. This is the first time we've ever had a champion as a, like an April Fool's thing. But yeah, the dash has like a 450 heal on it, which is kind of strange. We'll just get rid of him. Uh, there's a punch out of range. It looks like the punch should hit way further, which is just a thing with Andro because it's just an Andro punch, but it surprisingly sort of fits. Oh, you can do it behind. I, I didn't realize that the, the actual thing would come out of a different spot. I thought you could only do it forwards for some reason. I don't know if that even matters. I don't know why I'm trying so hard to analyze a mode where everyone's running around playing as a horse. It's only available for a few days. I just can't help myself. I find it kind of funny that other people also put together the same build as me because it's pretty damn obvious which is like the best. All right, so for game three, we've got another TDM Dragon Arena. I'm pretty sure it's the only map you can get for this, which is a bit strange because some of the other ones I think might be a little bit better suited to it, but... Um, I'm not going to be covering this in any other videos aside from this one. It's going to be contained to just this video, but even though I'm not going to talk about it, like I said, I do feel like the implementation is pretty much perfect and I really do love it. And as somebody said there, the new champion has so many skins, it's crazy. Genuinely, I think the champion with the most skins, depending on how you look at it, will get life rip and armor plating. In we go. Are they even moving? I guess we push. There's a dash that didn't do what I wanted to do and then I queued and instantly landed on the jumper. Uh, I think I'm dead. I don't know if I've ever caught that jumper before either. don't think the projectiles are even showing. Oh, well, they kind of are. They're just going really fast. We just absolutely bodied this one. Um, if I can just land two more hits. Don't know why I'm so bad with just Ray's weapon. I think it really is the camera perspective that's completely cooking me up. Uh, there's a dash through. That missed. Shot punch. Shot punch. Um, yeah, there we go. Jump the raptor again. Don't know how to commentate this one. Again, like I said, it's just so scuffed in the best possible way. There goes that one. There's a punch to kill combo. Let's go. Let's get more of them. Shot punch. They're doing the same thing. It's just chaos. Jump over, get a bit of a combo. That kind of worked. Um, shot dash. That 450 heal is kind of crazy. Honestly, this kit, if it was actually just implemented in-game, I don't even know if it would actually be technically playable. What I was trying to say is I don't know if you'd actually want to grab horse in any other mode, even though you can't pick him as far as I know. There's probably a way to bug it or something. Um, yeah, you probably wouldn't want to because he's not particularly strong, even though it feels great when you're playing it in the mode at uh, the jump with the Fernando Dash that's got the heal on it, the punch and everything. can even hold Kane, it's kind of busted. But yeah, it's not particularly strong, I think, compared to a lot of other characters' kits. I could be completely wrong, maybe I'm just really bad at judging stuff, but uh, let's just go over here, get some combos on him. That punch didn't land. I'm just dead because there's four of them. I actually got off the map. Again, into the abyss we go. Just kind of like pure paladins, I think, condensed is what this mode really feels like. And the implementation is significantly, like I said, more polished than I was expecting, but still with a little bit of jank because, of course, I feel like it was kind of necessary. We'll do a little jump over. Everyone's just kind of playing on this side and repeatedly getting knocked. There's a knock, see if we can get somebody off. Uh, there we go. I think we actually did there. That's one. I only needed one for the video. There we go. Um, let's pop the jump and get rid of him. Triple kill. Nice. Can we get a quadra with the horse? Um, there we go. I think he was trying to give it to me, maybe. But there we go. There's he defeat. Definitely less replay value than survival or capture the flag, but those two are much more serious modes. And like I said, for April Fool's, pretty much perfect. There's nothing I can really add on top of that. Stats-wise, we actually did quite well. I feel like I was playing terribly in all of them, but we did all right at the end. I, I just don't know what to say. I kind of wish he would pop up here. That would be perfect. That would be like the really perfect final touch to it. It only would really make sense for April 1st. And I don't know if there's a way they can actually do it for just a day. I'm pretty sure they can't. Um, it's always like for the entire update, right? Until they do something or hotfix something, right? So um, it would be terrible if it was still there on April 3rd, 4th or 5th. But April 1st, having the horse here would uh, kind of be perfect. A little cherry on top. I don't know what else I can say. I don't know how to end this video. If you want the build, uh, this is the one to run with but it doesn't really matter. You're playing a horse. So that is where I'm leave it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. If you want to make the comments even more scuffed than the video, please drop me one. If you stay all the way to the end, you're a really OP, but let me know uh, by saying like, I don't know, horse is the best champion or just horse. Wh whatever you feel like that's horse related, assuming you don't get too weird with it. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys all really, really soon. And as always, stay frosty.